Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to chat with you guys about five reasons I want to become more frugal in 2024. Let's get right into it. Number one, the first thing that I noticed about myself is even though I tell myself that I don't spend a lot of money and that I'm frugal in many ways, which in many ways compared to the average American, I am. Like I don't go out to eat much, I'm a homebody, all of that's good. But I still spend unnecessary money on certain things. And we all have, I feel, many of us, not all, many of us have our triggers. Some people may buy craft supplies a lot, some people may buy books, some people may spend their money on going out to eat. Many of us have certain things that are easy for us to spend money on. And for me, one thing that's easy for me to spend money on are what I call a couple things. Number one, kitchen gadgets because I love to cook and bake. And number two, another thing that I notice is really easy for me to spend money on is any, anything that may be trending or I watch a video and something sounds good. Anything that makes my life easier, something that is kind of convenient. It could be a book that's really popular that comes out that's everyone's doing. And I jump on the bandwagon and buy that book and do the program and buy all the things that go along with it. You know, an example could be, oh, I watch a video and they're like, oh, women need to take all these different vitamins to be their best and healthiest. And I'll get on the bandwagon and go buy all these vitamins and then I don't take them consistently. That would be an example of that, okay? So one of the things I do is I tend to not put a lot of thought into things and get excited about something. And then after that excitement has left, then I lose interest. So basically not putting a lot of thought into some of my buying. And so I guess you would say impulse buying. I'm putting a kibosh on that. Number two, I'm also working on spending money on what I value. I did work on that last year, but I was actually having a discussion with a friend of mine and she told me right out, and we don't do it that often anyway, she said for the most part, unless we have a coupon or there's some kind of sale, I really don't want to go out to eat because when we do, I really don't think the food's that good and I don't think I get that much value. And I know I've said this before, maybe it's me, I know I've said it. I honestly think a lot of the food that I'm buying at the grocery and when I go out to eat, I don't know if it's me, but I just don't think it tastes the same. For example, recently I ordered pizza and I don't order pizza but like once every five years. And so I ordered some and I can tell you it did not taste the same as it usually does. That it, it was off, it was not as flavorful. I don't know if it's me and my taste buds are changing or if the food around us is changing. You can let me know your thoughts. If I'm not getting value out of something or what I call low, you know, what I call enjoyment factor, then I'm not going to purchase it again. And so I'm really looking at enjoyment and value factor and making decisions based on that. Okay, number three, I do want to save some more money and I want to bring back and institute sinking funds. The reason why is because I don't ever know what may happen with my sources of income and I want to make sure that I'm prepared that if a large expense comes up or I have a loss of income that I've really got a good hearty savings to fall back on. That's really important. And I will be bringing back sinking funds for holidays and different things so that I can be prepared. And that way I know where my, you know, short, like if I'm short on something or I notice I'm not saving enough, I can really take a look at that. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Okay, number four, another thing is, and I put this, I don't, which kind of bring, wraps all this up, I don't always know where all my money is going because I don't track every single penny. And so I'm not always sure at how much I'm actually spending, except for maybe groceries. So I'll be looking at that and probably be doing more tracking and seeing where am I really spending my money? Because if I have money to spend, I have money to save. And I'm going to end with saying that. I learned that from Sarah from Back Row Money. So I plan on really being a wiser steward of the money that I do make and making better decisions. Let me know how your financial, I guess you would say, future looks in 2024. What are some plans you have to having your best, most abundant, yet frugal life? Let me know your thoughts. That's all I have to say for now. I love you, I appreciate you, and I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.